Well, hello, welcome back to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and I am so excited to get our year started off right. 2024 is here and it's such an exciting time. I don't know about you, but I love this feeling of optimism and new beginnings. And so this is a perfect time to be talking about paint going into 2024. What is, what are going to be the most popular paint trends this year? Today's video is going to be loaded with ideas. <laughs> It's going to be loaded with inspiration and I can't wait to get started because I don't know about you, but I love this feeling that there's something on the horizon, something is coming and it's going to be full of excitement and hope. And I really believe that the paint colors that we use in our home and our offices and in our environments really have such a huge impact on our emotional and mental welfare. And I think it's just important, right? So today we're going to have a lot of fun. If you are new to the channel and you haven't hit subscribe, or maybe you're one that hasn't hit subscribe and you've been hanging out or hanging around for a while, make sure you hit subscribe because we're going to be having some incredible content coming your way and I can't wait. So let's get started. And uh, I got my coffee, of course. Cheers, you guys. Let's get started. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, let's talk about one paint trend that I'm so excited about and I think is absolutely gorgeous. And that is Blue Topaz by Benjamin Moore. This is their color of the year and I personally think that it is absolutely gorgeous. Blue is a color that symbolizes hope, calm, peace of mind, faithfulness, serenity, wisdom, confidence. It's a color that many associate with aristocracy. It's because for so long, the color blue was very expensive. And I think that's why it's associated with that. But either way, a little bit of a regal touch does not hurt in our homes. And that's the great thing is you can mix your paint in any color and it does cost the same nowadays. So I think that this is a color that you should absolutely consider. Benjamin Moore has a that we pair this with Paper White and Mount St. Anne. I think that that will be a very soft combination, very soothing and warm. They also suggest that you pair it with Monterey White and Quincy Tan. They give you just a little bit more of a, of a kind of, it is kind of high contrast because much like in my interior where I've used a lot of dark grays and whites against each other, that navy blue pop, will that, that blue color will pop with that white and the tan will just kind of soften it. I think the combination is absolutely gorgeous. I think that you could use this in any room of your home. No room should be left out of consideration. It would be absolutely gorgeous in a bedroom, certainly in a bathroom. It's a very bold color. It would look incredible in a dining room. Think of the light in the room with this color. I think for me, I would personally absolutely pair it with a nice white color. I got Simply White by Benjamin Moore in my own home. And I think that that high contrast, it gives off the feeling of ocean and sky and air. And I think that that sense is just really beautiful and it's crisp. You could also pair it with black and go for a completely saturated look, one that's more tone on tone and it's deep and rich and smoky. Everyone always asks me when I do these paint videos, what kind of paint do I get? I almost always do my paint colors in matte paint unless you're going for a really high gloss moment and you want it to be like super extra and very glossy, then you could go for a high gloss. But generally speaking, I go for a matte and I always paint the trim, <laughs> the, uh, that's right, all the trim on the top, the bottom, everything. I paint it all in this color. The doors even, sometimes even the ceiling. Uh, it's called color drenching when you paint everything out in one color and it can really give you a beautiful, very regal and sophisticated feel in your room. Room. But if you have a lot of trim work, say like in a dining room, or if you're jumping on board with the trends that we've been seeing lately, where there's lots of board and batten and beautiful uh, mill work in your home, you could always go with white and then maybe the blue on top. <gasps> that would be really pretty. I would definitely use that combination 
in my son's room. So stay tuned, but <laughs> we'll see what we end up doing. We've got some thoughts on some little upgrades we wanna to make to his space that'll be fun in the new year. And that's why I'm so excited about these paint treads. Let me know in the comments if you are as in love with this color as I am. <laughs> the next paint trend is Pantone, Pantone's, Pantone's Peach Fuzz. When I first saw that color, I was like, oh, Ooh, is that a color I would even use? Ooh, that color can be very hard. I think this is probably the most challenging out of these popular trends to utilize in your own home. But yeah, yeah, now I'm gonna say, <laughs> I got a few more things before I get to the butt. <laughs> Okay, so when I started to look at interiors with this color, I was horrified. Honestly, I think that if you pair this with certain wood tones, it can just feel like the color salmon, which is usually one that everybody kind of hates and it's not very fresh feeling. Those are not feelings that you want in your home. So how do you take this color and make it feel fresh? I think you really can. I think color drenching and tone on tone with this color could actually be really beautiful. If you pair that with dark brown undertone woods, I think it's actually spectacular. I think it also looks really nice with golds and really rustic brass colors. I think it really is striking. You could always go a more Scandinavian route and go for a stark white or a stark black and pair that with this. But I do think for me, I really loved it in a more historical and traditional setting. And so I'm, I'm convinced. I think that it would be absolutely gorgeous. And I think that you could go for something that feels that stereotypical idea of what feminine feels like, right? Like a ballerina tutu and that feeling of the clouds and the sky. And you could really incorporate this into a bedroom, into a bathroom. I would imagine actually that my boys would love a color like this. I think that it doesn't have to be just for you know, girls just because it's, it's a color that a lot of times is used for females. I don't think those things really matter. I think we're kind of taking down those walls these days and we're really starting to use these colors in communal areas like the living room. You could put it into the dining room. And if you had that color in your dining room, oh guys, just think about it, okay? The warm candlelight being in it and how just warm everybody's skin would look. It would give a peachy cast to everybody's skin. Yeah, I think it would be gorgeous. I'm gonna say yes to this one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Next up, we have Upward by Sherwin Williams and I am here for this color. I think that it is just absolutely gorgeous. You feel serenity immediately and calm when you see this color. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Sherwin Williams describes it as a breezy, blissful blue, a hint of silver lining. The color found when we slow down, take a breath and allow the mind to clear. It's a sunny shade for spaces brimming with positive energy, creative thinking, and total contentment. I just love that. I think that is so great. I think that this, co this color really does embody all of those feelings. It's all the feelings of a rich, regal blue, but also that sort of optimism. And I think it's light and airy. Now, I will say that most people will think of this color as a coastal color, and don't get me wrong. Wouldn't this be gorgeous in a coastal home? Oh, bring it. I love this combination, especially when it's paired with black and white and creams. I love that mix. I think that that is really, really beautiful. You can go really modern. You can go really traditional, really a, a color that really can segue from one room to the next. I've got a very similar color in my son's room at the moment, and he loves living in this color. It's just very, it's very hopeful, it's very sunny, it really matches his personality, and I think it's really, really nice. I was thinking about, for his room, this could be paired with some board and batten. It's a, a little, another little hint of what we're thinking about doing in his room. I think that would be really beautiful. This color would also be perfect for your dining rooms. I love a color like this for dining rooms. I tend to keep the, 
the community areas, the living areas myself in my own home, quite neutral, but you don't have to do that. You could bring this color right into your living spaces as well. Take it into a bathroom. I really think it has a feeling of something that's very classic and a little bit traditional. And I think that you could really bring that color in in so many different ways into your home. When you bring a color into your home for each one of these, the thing that I like to do is not only use it on the walls, you could also use it on the ceiling. Yes, think of this on the ceiling. When we were in Charleston, a, a lot of the porches, the roof on the porch is painted blue. And supposedly it wards off evil spirits and they can't because they can't cross through the water, I think is what the, the old tale is. And so a lot of porch ceilings were painted that color blue. I think it's just a fun sentiment. No one, <laughs> who doesn't mind having a little warding off of evil, right? <laughs> it would look amazing in a dining room, in a bathroom, in so many different spaces of your home on the ceiling. The other thing that I like to think about when it comes to color is how do you bring that color in to the rest of the room? So for each one of these, you could think about the accessories that you might bring in. If it's in the living room, you could bring in some pillows. So if you're bringing this color into your living room, you could have some blue pillows. You could have maybe a really pretty trinket box sitting on the table. Maybe you'll wanna leaf through your own library and find some books that have a bluish hue to them. Don't get caught up in everything having to be a perfect match. It just creates this feeling of it, it too much effort. And you don't want anybody to ever know that you spent that much time thinking about it. <laughs> Make it look easy. <laughs> I danced for over 10 years and my dance teacher used to always say, always make it look easy. Never show on your face what your feet are feeling. <laughs> when you're dancing on point toes, you got a lot of practice, okay? So I do think that room should feel effortless and you could definitely bring it in through those accessories. You could also bring it in some wallpaper, some accents. You could contrast it with a white or a cream. You could do tone on tone and do some beautiful blue florals with this, or you could do a twall. Oh, that would be so pretty. And then this on the, on the ceiling. <gasps> Or you could do wallpaper on the ceiling and this on the walls. Oh, the options are limitless. Let me know in the comments if you love this one. This, let me know in the comments if you love this one as much as I do. I think it's really beautiful and I'm very excited about it. Bear took one out of my own uh, playbook here and brought cracked pepper as the color of the year. I did an entire video on the bear colors if you wanna check back on that one. I'll leave a link for you down below in the description. But I have cracked pepper in my home. I've got it in the bathroom. The bathroom? Is it the bathroom? <laughs> I can never remember. I used every one of the black shades that bear has, okay? You really just can't go wrong with any of them. They're gorgeous. And what I love about the bear paint is that it's one coat. Now I will tell you, you can do the walls in one coat with that bear paint, but sometimes you have to go back and touch up your, your edges a little bit. But honestly, it really is one coat. And that is really nice when you're doing the work yourself. So I personally love that bear paint. I think it's great. I use all of these brands. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend anything from any company that I wouldn't use. So these are all great brands, but I do really love that one coat by Bear. And I think that you could paint your fireplace. <laughs> I get so excited. That color is very similar to my color on my fireplace. This is Midnight Oil by Benjamin Moore. I just painted out my banister and spindles in a, a color very similar to this. That color just looks amazing on the walls, of course, it looks amazing. Like if you wanted to look, have it look like maybe my powder room or my, my dining room. I love using this color on the walls, but it also does make great accents like the stairs. It also, don't forget that paint is so nice because you can make your own artwork with it. You guys have seen us do that year after year. We love to take canvases, maybe some that we have or find something at Home Goods, and just paint it out with these paint samples and whatever you have left over. You could also use this on furniture. I have painted so many pieces of furniture and I'm getting ready to bring one back into the house and I think it's gonna be getting a fresh coat of paint and for sure, I will definitely consider my bare paints. I've got quite a few downstairs. We'll see what I end up with. 
definitely make sure you are a subscriber so you see how all these fun things turn out. But either way, the options really are limitless. So don't think too one dimensionally on paint. Don't think only walls a fan of this being on the walls, but it can be on furniture, it can be on accessories, you can paint out a vase with it. Like think of all the things you can do with a can of paint. It, that's, what, that's what I love. It's, there's just so many options and it really just gets you excited, it gets you inspired, and it gets you ready to move and do something fun in your house. Finally today, we have one trend that I know you guys are going to absolutely love. There's something in this for everyone, no doubt. This paint trend is from Faro and Ball. Faro and Ball is based out of the UK and I love their paints. They have got gorgeous quality paints that are just, there's a chalkiness to them that there's something special about the way that they make them. The matte paints in the US brands tend to have a very similar feel to them, just to let you know. But I, there's something just extraordinary about Faro and Ball and their colors. So that being said, what they have presented to us this year is a collection called Carte Blanche. And I think that this is such, it's so perfect for the trends that we are seeing in, in interiors and fashion and really in all aspects of business even. It's this idea that you can act as you wish and think about what you want and do what you think is best. I love that idea. And I think that the collection that they've come out with is actually really, really beautiful. It has a mix of different colors. You've got everything from hog plum, you've got shallot, you've got romesco, You've got raw tomatilla, you've got lobster, ole, <laughs> you've got blue maize, pea flower tea, and then you've got some rich, dark, saturated colors like licorice. You've got sardine that's more on the softer side. You've got cardamom. Oh my gosh, that is the color I would say most jumped out at me, although check out roasted macadamia as well. These colors are representative of what we want, and that is the freedom to choose whatever we want. And I really love that paint trend. I really believe that we should do whatever makes us happy in our homes. I know we talk about a lot of trends, but you could see in my house, I don't do a lot of them. <laughs> I really stick to what I really like. And I always share from my home. We do great home tours and different things like that. But as I've always said on this channel, doing what you love in your home will always result in a space that you just really enjoy, that you feel revived in. It helps you feel at peace. It nurtures, it nurtures your soul. I mean, I know we're getting deep, but come on, this is your home. It's so important. And as we start this year, my encouraging words to you would be carte blanche, do as you wish. Take from these paint trends, whichever one speaks the most to you. And maybe you're gonna keep doing what you've always been doing because OMG, it just makes you so happy and you love it. <laughs> or maybe you're ready to try something new and there's a new adventure waiting out there and it's gonna start with a lick of paint. Either way, I think you should be looking into these paint trends and seeing which one speaks to you and trying it out because I think that it's really fun to have a little bit of adventure, whether it's with a piece of furniture or the walls. Paint is so transformative and it's such an inexpensive way of really changing the way a space and a thing feels. And all of those things have such a power in our lives to really influence how we feel in our spaces. And I think that that's just, it really is an extraordinary thing. And that truly is the power of home. And that's why I just get so passionate about it and so excited to share with you. So I will leave links for each of those brands. I'll leave the names of them down below and some links. So if you wanna shop them, it'll be there for you. But I am so excited to get this year started and to see how you guys utilize these. So thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you in the next one. It's gonna be another good one, guys. I can't wait. Let's get it started. I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. <laughs>